Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. I'm going to read just a few verses from the story of the woman who had an issue of blood and that Jesus healed. Most of you have heard this story before and there is still to me a fresh message in this story. I'll be reading verse 25, 26, 27, and 28. The Bible says, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood twelve years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing better, but rather grew worse. Then she had heard, or rather when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch his clothes, I shall be whole. The subject for this morning is touching Jesus in a crowd. Amen. Touching Jesus in a crowd. During the biblical times, sickness was a prevalent disease. The reason for such paramount problems was because at that particular time people lived in very unsanitary conditions. And even where you find countries undeveloped, they live in some of the same kind of conditions. And because of their lack of proper sanitation, you find all kinds of diseases very pervasive in these countries. You find malarial fever, types of disease such as uh, intestinal worms, skin disease, plagues, even leprosy, dysentery, as well as some disease that affect the nervous system where you find paralysis and epilepsy. These diseases were somewhat prevalent during the time of Jesus upon this earth. The Bible talks about many diseases and the woman that we shall discuss today had the Bible says a plague. Now we know that this was a severe problem. However, we are not told exactly what it was, but it was a severe problem. At that particular time, we know that prescriptions and medication was somewhat difficult to come by. We also know that only those who were wealthy could really financially afford doctors and medications, various solutions for physical problems. This woman must have been one of me because she, the Bible says, had spent all that she had. At least at one time she had <clears throat> something to spend. But this particular story is not simply about a disease. It is about a man who was greater than a disease. A man who could solve every human problem or problem upon this earth. Most of the Jews at the time of Christ upon the earth, 
believed that if they could get to Jesus, they would indeed be healed. <clears throat> Some of them would spend money with various physicians, but they really believed if they could get to Jesus, everything would be all right. So we're looking today at a person who knew who to go to with her problem. And she went to Jesus and her problem was resolved. As we look at this woman, her condition is somewhat typical of sin. Because at that time, the concept of this particular disease was that it was incurable. And there was no need to try to see anybody about it because it was simply incurable. And when it comes to man and his sinful problem, man of himself has no solution for his sinful problem. So there is a likeness to sin in this woman's problem. But there is a doctor that didn't go to the medical schools of that day. One who knew no defeat. And one who had a reputation of resolving every case brought to him totally and completely. His name is Jesus. But I want us today, as we look at this story, I want us to notice three things in particular regarding this woman because I think that should capture our attention as we focus on the subject touching Jesus in a crowd. First of all, let's notice her disease. Then secondly, let's notice her determination. And thirdly, her deliverance. And I believe these are the three major things that we must have, especially those who are not members of the body of Christ as of yet. You must know that you need to make a change. You must be determined to make that change. And then when you know the need and you are really determined to make a change, a change can come about in your life. A deliverance is possible when you make those necessary steps. Let's look first of all at her disease. The Bible does not, as we have stated, define her disease, but simply says she had an issue of blood for 12 years, and that's enough. Whatever it was, it lasted for 12 long years. And I say long years because sickness in any type that will last that long is a severe problem. So this woman had this issue of blood. And when you study blood, you know that blood is life. So she was literally losing her delight. She was losing hope, losing life. Her future was grim and without encouragement. She lived almost day by day with this disease. This disease brought about much shame and disappointment. And you can see in today's vernacular, how she no doubt went from place to place trying to resolve her problem. And the Bible says it only grew worse. But the Bible tells us that this woman's problem as it grew worse, this was a message to her telling her that she was simply going to the wrong folk. She was pursuing the wrong answers for her problem. And I must say this morning, when you got 
a sin problem. Man cannot resolve your problem. Amen. Man cannot solve sin problems. And we need to understand that we have a Savior. We have a Lord who specializes in solving sinful problems and bringing us into the right relationship with him. Not only was this a shameful problem with this woman, but it was a problem that really uh, denounced her to the point that she was unclean. And she, she was not able to sit around and socialize and be, we, be with the common folk. See her now as she is not able to sit down with her family. She must be in isolation and away from the public because she is dirty. She is unclean. She is not welcome among the social circle. She is not to be a part of her family and friends. There was much shame and degradation in her life. The Bible says, if you think I'm just talking right here, the Bible says in Leviticus 15, and if you got the Bibles, verse number 25, and, and I'm not going to dwell on this, but I want to read this. I'm not sure this is even uh, preaching information.